to the book of Proverbs, the 31st chapter. And we're going to go there. Amen. Amen. We want so much to walk in so many different types of things, but the, the whole problem or the whole idea is that we don't want to walk in alignment. And when there's no alignment, we just do what we want to do. But when I looked up the word virtue, it means having or showing a high moral of standard. So virtue, virtue, a virtue woman of faith, a virtue woman of God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to hit your men too. I'm going to add you on there now so you won't feel left out. Amen. 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 Virtue. Having or showing a high more standard. Not doing anything as a woman of God. Now there's two types of women. There's a wise woman and there's a folly woman. A foolish woman. A silly woman. Amen. Amen. Now, my question to you is where you fit in at. Because as a wise woman, I'm going to do things the way God wants me to do it. Now, if you're not married, God is just preparing to put virtue in you so you can be a virtuous woman of God, a woman of faith. And so most of the times when you get married and you have not allowed God to put that in you, that faith in you, it's a mess. Yep. Okay, come on. Uh, Read Proverbs. Proverbs 31, starting at verse 1. The words of King Lemuel the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son? And what, the son of my womb? And what, the son of my gods? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Now, now look at this. The king's mother was giving him advice about what kind of woman he needs to seek after. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. She can't be no, just no ordinary woman. She got to be different. She got to be that woman that's in the word of God, in the will of God. Because if she's that kind of woman, she knows how to conduct herself. And this is what the king's mother was trying to advise him of a certain type of woman he needs to have. So as a virtuous woman of God, a woman of God walking with faith, I was listening to the woman of God testimony about her mother. She had to have first relationship with God. If she got relationship with God, then God will show her how to be a wise woman. Now, what I like about his mother, his mother was trying to give him advice about what type of woman he needed. Because, see, one thing about God, he ain't going to give you nothing that's going to mess you up. He going to give you something that's going to carry you where you're going. A wise woman. Wise. Go ahead, woman of God. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law, and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. 
Now, now let's look, look at this now. Now, I said I was going to leave the man out, right? So the man got to be the one to seeking out for the woman. Not the woman seeking out the man. But the man seeking out the woman. But see, it's a bad thing when the man don't know what kind of woman he's supposed to have and he won't listen to the advice of the Lord. So, that's what I like. You know, God, so, you know, he's sharp. He, you know, he, he a sharp shooter. Whatever he come to do, he coming to knock that stuff down out your life. So, the king's mother said, this is what type of woman you need to look for. Because this woman got to go with you on your journey. Now, why do I want a man that can't take me on my journey? And why should he want a woman that can't take him on his journey? And we both stupid. We foolish. Because whatever God has said, I don't understand why people think, woman of God, that they can change the word. Now, if, if the mother is talking to the king and telling the king what needs to happen, and here you come with your own intellect, your own ability, God has told you, don't touch her, don't touch him, but you touch him anyway. Amen. And that's why we got two fools together. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead. See, see, we can say hallelujah. Let, let, let me go here. If the king wouldn't have listened to the mother, then he could not have had a Proverbs 31 woman. That's right. So my question to you, who are you listening to? Are you listening to the wisdom of God? Because if you're not listening to the wisdom of God, then you cannot be that Proverbs 31 woman. Woman of faith. And that's what God did with her. Those that are not married, married yet, he's preparing you for that. And if you don't want to get prepared for that, guess what? You're not going to be that proper 31 woman. Amen. 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 Go ahead, woman of God. Verse 6. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the case, in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Open your mouth rightfully. That means with wisdom. You're not just opening up your mouth saying anything. Yeah. Even as a king, he got to be able to open his mouth rightfully to know how to even talk to a virtuous woman of God. God's not going to change his word for nobody. Wisdom is what's going to draw. When you look at the Proverbs 31 woman, go ahead, I don't want to get ahead of myself. When you look at her, I'm going to just let you read it and then I'm going to break it down for you. Because sometimes we think we're doing something right and it really can be wrong. Amen. Because you done did it so long. I done did this so long. Can't nobody tell me what to do. You foolish. Amen. Go ahead, woman of God. And then when you when you look at the king, the mother was trying to tell him, look at him now. I don't want you to fall to your weakness. Oh, we know what that is. <laughs> His mother was telling him, look, I don't want you to fall in your weakness. And because you fall in your weakness, that's why you got somebody that's inappropriate. And they can't tell you where you're going. Go ahead. Who can find a virtuous woman? 
for her price is far above ruby. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like a merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field, and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengtheneth her arms. She, she perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She strengthened out her hands to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Now look at this. We're going to cut it down a little. When you look at the characteristics of this virtuous woman of faith, her lifestyle is an example of the word of God. If I am a virtuous woman of God, my lifestyle needs to be that example. She values, she empowers her household and the world sees her lifestyle. Not that one day she with God and one day she done, the next day she done left God. Her sense bring understanding Spiritually, by showing self-worth. Not only spiritual things, but natural things. You got the spiritual part, but you don't have the natural. Amen. She impacts others by calling them to produce. A virtuous woman of God, she impacts others and calls them to produce. Produce. I didn't say not produce. I said produce. She sees what's on their life and she wants them to produce what God has said. And that's what I like about this woman. She wasn't selfish. She still took care of her household and she helped others. Well, you fit in it. She's like an enterprise. She know how to do it all. She, she, she working this thing. Amen. She knows where her value lies in God. Yeah. You know, trying to shake it until she make it. No, she, she, she doing what she's a builder yeah. of an enterprise. Yeah. Her reward brings capability to others. Her reward brings capabilities to others. I see they can do it. Yes. It's me. Come on, woman of God, you can do this thing. What's ever in your life, come on. She's not pulling against me bringing her up as a virtuous woman of God until her husband's come. She not, no, I don't want to come. Apostle made me mad. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whatever is in her because of what's on my life that God has placed on my life. I'm saying, you coming out of this. You ain't finna do this no more. Uh-uh. You gonna keep coming until the household of faith until deliverance comes. That's a virtuous woman of God. She said, I'm going to go to the hospital and I'm going to use the faith that God has given me. God's put faith in a whole lot of us. But we take the faith and use it for something else. 
I'm going to prove it to you. When you can't trust God, you're using that faith for something else. Uh -huh. yeah. yep. He's telling you to be willing and obedient so you can eat the good of the land. He said, come over here and be a wise woman of God. You tell God, no, God, I want to be a foolish woman. If I get wisdom, I'm getting instruction. If I get instruction, I get knowledge. I cannot open up something and try to, I'm going to try to hope to put this together. They're giving you instruction on how to put it together. This is what I like about God. God's so awesome. He's trying to push you into virtue. But you want to stay a folly woman. You want to stay a conny woman. One day on Sundays, you a Sunday woman. But in the week, you a folly woman. I'm a virtuous woman of God. But you sleeping around. I'm going to make somebody mad. But if I'm a virtuous woman of God, I seek the wisdom of God. Why? Because every tool that is in me that God has given me as a virtuous woman of God is to build a nation. It's to build up a nation. That ain't, that ain't for me. It's for every woman in here. It's for every man that's in here. His mother said, I want to keep you from the woman that's unappropriate. I don't want this woman to mess up your kingship. This is what I like about God. God loves us so much, he don't want nobody to mess up what he do. But, if you don't want it, he said, I ain't. He, this one, he said, I give him a free will. Yeah. I ain't going against their will, but this is what I got for him. Yes. This woman was bad. She wasn't just no ordinary woman. She knew how to do things. She wasn't stuck on stupid or stupidity. She moved in the things of God and she did. She considered what God said and she moved in. Every woman in here has something on the inside that you can release to another woman. But because you jealous, you envy, you got strife, you full of confusion, you full of mess, and you won't release the virtue in somebody else's life. That's right, let them go through. I don't care if they go through. You're so stubborn, you're stubborn as a bull. But you tell me you love God. I love God. How can I win the world and they don't see virtue? How can I talk about faith when I ain't living faith? I cried every time something happened. The woman, the Proverbs 31 woman said, I got this. Man, I'm working. I'm going to keep my household together. I'm going to keep this over here together. I know that keep me over here, but I'm going to have a little wish and mama go over here, but I'm still going to slide on back home, but I'm going to keep it together. Yeah. That's my notes. I'm going to be about wrapping it up. Yes, Lord. You telling God, this is what I like about it. He ain't made no mistake when he made you. You just don't want to be a part of what he made. When you be a part, he said, I wonderfully yeah. made you. Yes. I created you. Yes. Everything that I told you that you can't do, yes. why are you got why do you got a story? Uh -huh. 
Why are you making up? Why you can't do nothing? Okay, then, then he said, this is what I like. He said, this woman, she made sure her appearance reflected. She made sure her appearance, they reflected her and the respect in her community. Everybody respected her. They had no problems with her because this woman said, okay, they got a problem. I'm going to show them how to solve the problem through the word. She shares wisdom. What are you sharing with somebody? Are you sharing truth or are you just gossiping? I don't like, I don't like how they said this to me. You know, so what? Get over it. You know, think about it. She was educated. Yes. Not only about the word, but she was educated about business. Every venture, every endeavor that God had released over her life, she knew how to flow in it. And so how can you flow in it if you're not communicating with the Father? She was equipped to do the task. She knew how to manage a large household. And she had a large household to manage. We only can manage this. I just can do this one little thing right here. It's all I can do right here. She was not afraid of a large assignment. She wasn't afraid of the assignment that God gave her. I'm going to take this assignment and I'm going to walk in it. I'm going to walk it through. Faith says I walk it through. This, this is what I want you to know today. As a virtuous woman of God, you don't struggle with your faith. This woman, she didn't struggle with her faith. She just walked in it. This woman right here said, I know God said he is a healer, but I'm going to walk in. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to walk in whatever God has placed over my life. Yeah. I think we talked about that earlier. She opened her mouth with wisdom. Before she said a thing, she had the wisdom of God. God wants to do so much. She knew her excellence. She knew her self-worth. And she operated in that which God had given her. This woman took action. She was a hard worker. She was very skillful. My question what position do you hold? Are you a wise one? Or are you a folly one? And when I looked up the word folly, it means vain. It means silly. Instead of you getting God's instruction, you get your own instruction. And even when you look at Deborah, she was a judge. But she had wisdom. She flowed in wisdom. She was able to legislate. She was a spokesman for God. And God is telling each and every woman that's in here to bless somebody in some kind of way. Because one thing about God, he's not going to tell you to do something. And he ain't got something up his sleeves to get. Right. Amen. 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 Where are you positioned in the things of God? Are you a wise woman? Or are you a folly woman? Where, where does it fit in at? Wise women say they undergird the woman of God to build. Amen. 
We are all builders. We are master builders for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I'm done. Let's give the Lord. I'll bring this.